welcome, you guys. Oop. Hello, welcome to Humble Beads Coffee Break. I'm Heather Powers from Humble Beads. <laughs> I'm a bead maker, jewelry designer, author, illustrator, and your all around creative muse. And it's my job to get those beads off of your bead table and into some jewelry. And today, I hope our earring project inspires you to do just that. Hello, Susan. Nice to see you here. Say hello, guys. Let me know where you're watching from today. If you're new, let me know if you're here. Hi, Cheryl from Florida. And my friend Lynn from across the lake. Hi, Megan. Nice to have you guys here. <clears throat> Hi, Lorraine, watching from Face uh, YouTube. Thank you for joining us. All right, you guys. So today we're going to be playing with some roller beads, which are large hole beads. And... Um, we're just going to do a simple, fun, easy project with them. <laughs> Lynn, I love that Patina perks up whenever he or she hears my voice. And I love that your cat's name is Patina. Like, so perfect for a jewelry maker. Hi, Bonnie and Candy and Debbie. And hello, Teresa and Julie. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's my birthday month, you guys. Hi, Amy. You're watching from South Haven, as in South Haven, Michigan. My town. Really? Hello, dear neighbor. <laughs> hi, Tracy and Laura. And hi, Debbie. Um, do you guys remember that uh, children's TV show where she would hold her little magic mirror and look around at all the <laughs> friends? That's how I feel today. Hello, friends. I'm so glad you're here joining. Hi, Chris. Nice to have you here watching. You're watching from... Um, you're commenting on your phone, but watching on Facebook. I like that. Oh, Teresa, it's your birthday month, too. Woo, woo. Amy, message me and say hello. Friend me. I need to know more people in town that make jewelry. Hi, Holly. Romper Room. That's the name of it. I used to love watching that when I was a kid. And uh, I always wanted to be one of those kids that got called out. Hi, Lynn. Glad you're watching from Louisiana. And we have Karen, Sheila. Oh, yes. I definitely have birthday month. I don't know. It started, oh, probably four years ago, the year that I, after I had cancer. And I was like, mm, I got to celebrate a whole month and treat myself to nice things for a whole month. One, one day just wasn't enough. <laughs> and also, um, I used to have birthday week because our anniversary, wedding anniversary, is a few days before our my birthday. Because I got married right before I turned 20. I got married as a teenager. <laughs> Jesse likes to joke about that, that he married a teenager. And uh, we're celebrating 30 years this year, guys. And it's my 50th birthday, so lots of big numbers. Really thankful for life and just every single day. Thankful you guys are here watching. And I think we're going to just turn it around here and start making this earring project. Like I said, it is really fun and easy. It's going to go by super quick because it's just just one of those projects that uh, there isn't much to them. But they sure do pack a punch. Isn't that cool? I was like, I just need to find a way to use these. Um, something unique that really showed off the beauty. And I... I I wanted to do something vertical with these guys. So I came up with just a simple little knotting technique that we're going to use. And we're using four ply wax linen. So a little bit thicker than the one we used before. So this is four ply. And we have it um, we have it on the website. And I have some more colors to restock to Jesse the Cradle Robber. That's right. <laughs> I always joke at my mom, I'm like, how in the world could you let me get married when I was only 19? And she's like, um, Heather, what could I have said to have stopped you? And I was like, that's true. I knew Jesse was the guy. Like, after our first date, I knew he was going to be the one I'd spend the rest of my life with. Sometimes you just know. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations, Teresa, for celebrating 41 years. That is huge. Yeah, Bonnie, um, 
I am completely cancer free. It, it was um, caught very, very early. So it just made me really pause and love life even more. Okay, so roller beads. These are six by nine millimeter, I think is the size. And what I did is I took, I, I bought a bunch of different colors and I took and made little trio sets with them. So there's four beads of each color, three colors in each set. And I did three sets. So I have an all green and teal one. For those of you that I know love teal and green. And then I did this pastel color one where we have the periwinkle, purple, and peach. This is the one I'm going to use for the video. And then I did this um, golden color one. So we have thistle and then we have a matte gold and then we have this AB finish or not. Yeah. An AB finish with matte and gold, all sorts of sparkly. So yeah, we have these three sets and then these are the disc beads that I would match up with them. So these are all the chrysanthemum ones. And so I would use the cream with this pair and use the blue with that. And then I use teal with this color. So let's just jump in. <laughs> All right, Oop, wrong one. And I'm just gonna cut, oh, actually I'm gonna do the wire work first. So I have my disc beads. This is how they come when you order them. And these are the ones that we make in case you're new here. And I'm gonna take about four inches of 20 gauge pair of wire. So we're using 20 gauge. And I'm going to slip this through. I'm going to have uh, a little bit shorter of a side and a little bit longer on the other side. And I always use more wire than what I'm going to need. It's just the way I like to roll. So I've inserted the wire and crossed it over. And I'm going to take the shorter one and I'm going to bend it up. This is going to be my little loop. And what I did for this, you guys, is I just made a simple loop. So I'm just going to cut off that much. And I'm going to roll that with my pliers into a simple loop. And you want your loop to be going front to back. So there we go. Oh, close that up a little bit more. Okay. Make sure we have that nice and clear. There we go. So I have the loop and then I have this wire going underneath and I'm going to bend that wire and wrap it around. Probably better if I hold down to it. I'm going to wrap it around two times tightly and then go through and do one or two on top of that to make my messy wrap. Okay, and I'm gonna trim this off and tuck that little tail so that's going in the back. Okay, so this is gonna be the front of my piece here. I'm using 9.25 millimeter jump ring that has a, a um, rib texture on it and you guys can find these on the website thank you for all the birthday and anniversary wishes guys all right oh and plus I'm a Leo so you know Leos like to be spoiled in the center of attention <laughs> if I'm not careful they'll take away my humble pin <laughs> Okay, I'm going to close this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to take my, oh, I'm going to take these beads and cut them. Okay, so you're going to need two of each color for a pair of earrings. And I, 
I don't know how much. I'm just going to cut about eight inches. I don't think I'll need eight inches. I'll let you know how much I waste <laughs> at the end here and how much I really should have cut. Okay. Oh. Wake up, Heather. I'm just dreaming about my birthday too much, you guys. Okay. You need to put the roller bead on before you close this up. Silly me. <laughs> I was like, where am I going to tie my string onto? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. There we go. So there we have our bead on top of our disc. And I'm going to take my four ply wax linen. Uh, four ply works better for this project because you want a little bit more um, heft, a little bit more weight in the uh, size of the string. Well, not string, but you know. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to go with purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, these going in the opposite way and pull that down. So I had this string going from left to right and then from right to left. I'm going to pull that nice and tight and make sure those are stacked up nicely. So there's no trick to it, guys. I'm just putting, just crossing the um, two strands through the bead and then pulling it down. Okay, and now I'm going to take both of the strands and tie a knot above my top bead and just did a, a regular knot like you're tying your shoe. Make sure the two strands are nice and tight. So there we have our little knot. Oh yes, I kind of planned that, you guys, with the nail polish. <laughs> and now we're going to grab a little five millimeter jump ring. Make sure it's closed nice and tight. And I'm going to um, do the same thing with uh, crossing the... Uh, no, no, I'm not. Did I do that wrong? Let's see. Um, all right, I'm trying to f remember what I did. Okay. So I'm doing the same technique where I've crossed the two um, strands through the jump ring. Oh, make sure you guys can see that. So I just did the same um, technique where I had one strand going to the left and one going to the right. And now I'm going to take the two strands and tie a knot underneath the jump ring. Just get that pulled nice and tight so your knot is really nice and secure. And I'm going to tie one more knot. Okay, and I'm going to cut these right up to my knot. Now we're going to cover this with a little crimp cover. So I'm just going to push the ends of that 
um, wax linen onto itself. You guys see how I did that? I just pressed it in. Okay, now four millimeter crimp bead. Um, I'm not sure if we have any more of these on the site, but you guys can get them from vintage.com if we're sold out. And I'm putting the tip of my pliers into the crimp and then I'm taking my thumb and pressing my thumb outward so that this opens up the crimp bead. And I'm just working it nice and slowly down my pliers to widen it. So here we have it open. Make sure you guys can see that. And now whoop, I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. Make sure I um, have the front and back. I want the crimp to go and close in the back, not in the front. And I want to make sure my little jump ring is also going front to back. Okay. Alright, once I have that positioned over the um, strand, I'm going to take my pliers and close them. These are called parallel pliers. I don't know why they work so well, but they really do. You can find these at beadshop.com, but you could also use your um, chain nose pliers. They just move around a little bit more. These ones just have a really good grip. So just close that jump ring up nice and tight. And I'm going to grab my ear wire. Open that up and slip on my earring made sure I was putting it on the front and there's your, your earring simple fast super easy <laughs> oh, yeah so that's it you guys I will show you one more time and make the other one oh so eight inches and I cut off about this much so the next one I do I think I'll do six inches and we'll see where that gets us. Okay, so 20 gauge wire. I'm going to cut about four inches. Putting it through my disc bead. Crossing them over. The smaller one I'm going to bend upward. Trim it, and I'm going to do a simple loop here. Okay. And I'm going to bend this so that it's um, at a 90 degree angle. There we go. All right. And I'm going to grab on to the wires and wrap around two times tightly and then one to two times on top to make that nice messy wrap just like that. I'm going to trim it off in the back. Tuck in the little end nice and tight. The 9.25 millimeter jump ring, the etched ones. I'm going to slip that on. Oop, gotta open that up just a little bit more. And I'm going to slip on my blue bead. And these are the 6x9 
um, roller beads. Make sure that's closed nice and tight. And then I'm going to take my wax linen. I don't have my ruler here. Maybe this is... Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to go with 8 inches, guys. I would rather cut off a little extra than be short. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll grab my purple bead and I'm going to cross those two strands through the bead and pull it down. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to grab the last one, cross the two strands of wax linen. And again, this is four ply wax linen. Okay, and I'm going to take the two strands and tie them in a knot on the top here. Grab this little five millimeter jump ring, close it up nice and tight. And I'm crossing the two strands through the jump ring and I'm going to tie it underneath the jump ring. <clears throat> I find it easier to do that if I just lay it on the table. <clears throat> Make sure the two ends are nice and tight. And then tie it underneath. I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to cut these two ends right at the knot. And then kind of push that, the ends of those up onto the, the knot there so that they're not hanging off at all. I'm going to grab my little crimp bead. And my back, you guys. Sorry. Hopefully not too much of it was gone. Okay. And my back, you guys. Can you see me? Let me know. I think I'm back. I don't know why it keeps freezing like that. Okay. Getting that wide enough. <clears throat> oh, good. Thank you, guys. Sorry about that. Oop, I'm going to open this one more, a little bit more. I probably don't need to do the second knot. You could probably just get away with one knot and have it a little less chunky under here. And if you were afraid, you could do a little bit of glue if you wanted to. But I, I really don't think it would be necessary even. I checked. Make sure you're putting this on the front and not the back. I need to turn that around. Okay. Now we're going to close this up with the parallel pliers. Oh, 
Okay. And throwing on my ear wire. And there, oh, darn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, Wendy, I'm glad it wasn't your dog eating the cable again. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Terry, this would be, um, you could use any larger type hole. Um, Terry said furnace glass would be really cool. Definitely. If you had stones that um, had a larger hole that were a rondelle shape, that would work too. Yeah, isn't this fun, you guys? And instead of um, the disc bead on the bottom, you could do a charm, like a starfish charm would look really cute on the bottom of these. Or um, if you want to do a little metal charm, you could do that. Love something that's versatile like that. All right. <laughs> Okay, so got two pairs of earrings. Woot woot. And uh, like I said, super simple, very easy to do. What do you think? You guys gonna go through your stash and get those? Now um, we are. I'm adding the uh, the little sets to the website after the video. As soon as I'm done, I'm gonna put those up, and then I have some more of the disc beads to put in stock. So. We'll get those up for you. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I like to end the video with a drawing. So that's what we're going to do. And um, let's see. For the drawing, let me know. First person to type it in will win a $30 gift certificate to Humble Beads. All right, you guys. You ready? <laughs> what ply of wax linen did I use for this project? Type it in and you will be um, the winner of a $30 gift certificate to Humble Beads and get to do a little shopping, woohoo, little retail therapy. Okay. I am waiting. Oh, Brandy Sites, you were the fast one here and you are the winner. It was four ply is what I used for today, guys. So four ply wax linen. Um, Lynn wanted to know the name of these here we go pliers uh lynn they're beadsmith uh parallel pliers and i got them from my friend kate Oop. at beadshop.com you guys beadshop.com is where you can find the parallel pliers um they are a really great tool to have in your toolbox works so well for closing things that are um a little tricky all right you guys thank you for joining me so next week um for those of you that ordered the van gogh irises and it says june july but now it's moved to august september <laughs> so the van gogh irises have all shipped out and i will be showing you guys projects with those beads and um oh my god you guys, let me see if I can grab one here. These were like my favorite beads that I've ever made, for sure. I love them so, so much. I can't even begin to tell you. Okay, let me make sure I get this in the camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Look at that, you guys. Van Gogh irises as a bead. I love them so much. I don't always keep every bead that I make like a copy of it, but um, I definitely made a set of these and I've kept them. I love them so, so much. So we sent out the last ones yesterday. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, it will be in your mailbox very, very soon. Also, guys, I want to give you a little gift today if you place an order through the weekend. I'm gonna throw in a little sample of four ply wax linen with your order, any order, free. You don't have to do anything. We'll just put that little gift in your order for you so you'll get a little sample of wax linen. And then, um, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> Wendy, I can't wait to play with them either. I'm going to make jewelry all for myself with these ones. <laughs>
Mary Kay, yes, I'm, I will be making the Christmas houses again. I usually start at the very beginning of November with holiday stuff. If you need something sooner than that, like in October, just send me an email and I will see what I can do for you. Yeah, I definitely need lots of reminders, guys, because I'm just too crazy busy for my own good. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Hope you can... Uh... Okay, Gina. I think he... For me, because he was worried he was going to say something wrong. So... <laughs> It's up to me. He put that on my desk today. And he said, I don't know what to say. So, Gina, I will get back to you. All right, guys. You have a great weekend. Like I said, I um, will see you guys here next Friday. And uh, not the roller beads will be on the website in the next half hour. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.